Talk about this tall poppy syndrome that we tend to lean into here in Aotearoa. I know, I know for a fact that we do that. We like to build people up and then all of a sudden we like to chop them down. Well, there's some people who are doing really cool things around about turning that whole culture of criticism around. They're called Etu Tangata and we've got the youth worker in studio with us. Her name is Priska Peters. Kia ora, good morning, Priska. Good morning. Thanks for joining us this morning, man. Thank you for having me. It's uh, awesome to be here. All right. Etu Tangata. Yeah, what Who are it? you and why do we need you guys around? Yeah, so Etu Tangata, uh, thanks for the introduction. We are an organisation that uh, is trying to turn around this culture of tall poppy syndrome in New Zealand. Um, we summarise tall poppy syndrome as this thing of somehow your success is a threat to my success or I wish you well but not too well. Uh, they did actually this study in the Philippines where they put crabs in a bucket yeah, yeah, and one that, crab yeah. would try to escape and the other crabs would break its legs so that it can't get out of the bucket. <laughs> Which is those bit, New Zealand crabs? Yeah, so they yeah. take them over there. It's a bit brutal, eh? Hey? But yeah, I think some that's, crabs those days. <laughs> it's not too dissimilar from us as humans, you know? Where does this come from? Like, why is this such a thing in um, New Zealand? I never, I've heard about it, you know, in New Zealand, this tall poppy syndrome thing, but I never really realised it until I actually went to the United States randomly. Yeah. They're very encouraging people in America. Yeah, Sometimes it almost comes across as fake or phony because they're so just like, oh, you are, they're so complimentary mm. and stuff. I was yeah. like, this is amazing. You don't and think it like, exists here? No, well, was, I, that's when I realised. I was oh. like, man, we really do not yeah, talk because like it's this yeah. to so each other. Part of our culture, yeah. That often people don't actually realise that it's a New Zealand thing until they get out and they go somewhere else, and it's exactly that. They're uplifted, or they can share something, and mm. it's met with encouragement. Yeah. So where do you think it sort of originates from? Or why do we why do we have it so deeply oh. ingrained here to just drag people down instead of help them to climb I, further? I have no idea. I would say part of it might be because New Zealand as a country is so isolated so small. Um, and so small, yeah. so we kind of uh, don't have a lot of um, influence and movement of people. You know, you look at, at a country in Europe and because they're all kind of right, you know, connected, connected so close, to each yeah. other. Yeah. Um, but I guess we're kind of here to tackle it rather than to figure out why. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sure. Well, um, it, yeah, it's another thing I noticed actually when I was in the States as well. Not only do they are they really good at encouraging and complimenting others, but they're also really good at backing themselves and being like, yeah, yeah, I am yeah, really yeah. good at this. And it took me a minute to be like, oh, they're being so proud. And then I was like, actually, they're just confident. And yeah, it's yeah. actually something beautiful. So how do we like tackle that? Why do we need it? Yeah, yeah. Great question. Um, again, so the way that we're trying to tackle this is through conversation because if you look at uh, culture and you look at community studies, it says that the way to change a culture, the way to change a community is to simply change your own language and over time that will change culture. I mean, you can even see that in like youth culture, like the word yeet, for example. I don't know how that became common, but people just started saying it and then it became what people say. Of course, so, use it all the time. Yeah, <laughs> all the time. <laughs> Sounds like, can you spell it? <laughs> um, but, yeah, so we're trying to change conversation through facilitated language. Um, and these there's three conversations. The first one is you have value, which talks about the fact that you have value simply because you do. It is intrinsic to being a human being. Whether you achieve something great or not, that doesn't change your value. The second conversation is we succeed together. So that looks at how can we collaborate better together? How can we do win-win rather than win-lose or lose-lose? Um, there's enough seats for everyone at the table rather, yeah. this, rather than this rat race of like, there's only two seats and I'm going to do everything I can to make sure mm. that, you know, if I don't get it, you don't get it either. Um, and then others matter. So how are we looking at others? How are we showing them uh, that they have value? How are we creating people that both know their own mana but also call that out and the person next to them? How are we exposed to uh, people that actually bring people down like that you know I mean is it intrinsic in New Zealand culture that uh what am I trying to say here because well, I, th I think part of it is this like false humility like we pride ourselves on being humble but it's almost this this is true you know it's almost this not genuine humility um is it is that is that born out of your family because it's got to start well, somewhere, we, right? We actually did a lot of research and it said that the people closest to you, your friends, your family, your colleagues, all of that, they've kind of adopted this idea that it's their job to keep you humble. 
Yeah. Um, and and one of the other interviews we did, we asked heaps of people, rate yourself out of 10, zero being I'm average, 10 being I'm amazing. Pretty much nine out of 10 said six or seven. I didn't give you guys a chance to answer, sorry. But it's okay. um, again, it's Seller this thing of... 10. <laughs> which is good. <laughs> but this thing of like, we know that we can't really say eight, nine or 10. And because, that's so true. Because people will be like, yeah. oh... Bro, are you even sure? even like, as you're saying this, I'm already thinking. I'm like, imagine if someone thought they were a ten. Like right? I'm like, we judge them. Well, yeah, I'm like, yeah. what an overconfident, Absolutely. like, you know, yeah. 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 And it's and that's just that's mm. our whole. That's exactly what you're talking yeah. about, right? It's like, and we're just conditioned to believe that way, and so we're trying to uncondition that by creating spaces where we can say that we're good at something. We can. It, Say yeah. that we want to achieve an audacious goal. We can compliment someone. We can encourage a brother. You know, mm. why, why? Why are we really quick to put, put, you know, pick people up and really praise them? Because we are very good at doing that as a culture uh, here in Aotearoa. But then when they get to a certain level, yeah, we just go, okay, wait a minute, mate, that's too far. <laughs> yeah, too much. Yeah, yeah. I just want it's, to pull you down lid. a little bit. It's yeah. the lid of the 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 lid of the bucket, or like uh. the, we've. Put a lit, there's another science uh, experiment that shows fleas in a jar and you put a lid on the jar and the fleas will try yep. to get out yep. and they'll hit the lid so many times that they'll be like, oh, I can't never get out of this. And they take the lid off and the fleas don't escape. And it's that same thing. Like We've sort of set a lid for ourselves of like, that's how high you can achieve mm. and we'll support you until that point. And mm. then that's that. So some of the work you guys do, not a program. Don't call it a program. It's not a program. Not a program. But some of the work you guys have done and what you've implemented in different places, could you give us some sort of examples of what that kind of looks like in, in real life? And Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So the main spaces that we're currently in is uh, within education and schools and within sports organisations and clubs, which is pretty cool. So, yeah, like you said, it's not a program. We're trying to shift mindset mm. through shared language because um, there's so many programs out there. Uh, real cool story of a school down south, a, a boys' high school. They kind of implemented etu tangata in their way of they spent form time for all of term one talking about you have value, what this meant for them, what this looked like. They spent all of term two talking about we succeed together and all of term three talking about others matter, cool. just in their tutor time. And so that was really cool to see the impact and the effects of actually these boys understanding what this means for them and what this means for their life. How can we all jump on board? How can we all jump on board? Uh, we've got an Instagram, uh, Etu Tangata. We've got a website, etutangata.nz. Um, if you want to make an action for yourself personally, start the conversation. Like, that's why it's it's not a program, it's a shared language. Around your dinner table, share something that you achieved that week that you're proud of or have a time of encouraging one another or have a time of... You know, calling out greatness around the dinner table. Start creating spaces where that is natural conversation, and that will have a flow-on effect. But you can jump, yeah, jump on the website. Uh, we also have a pretty cool event coming up. Talk yeah, about it. Thirtieth of March. Okay. Color your day. Uh, stand out for standing up. Wear bright colors, um, and it's all about creating a space again where we can be who we were, who we are. We can stand up. We can be bright. Um, and also, uh, it's a bit of a um, donation opportunity as well for the organisation. So you can also find all the information for that on the Instagram and the website. Awesome. What's that website again? Airtutangata.nz. You're awesome, Priska. Thank you. You go and do what you did do. Don't get too ahead of yourself. <laughs> don't, though, okay? don't use that. <laughs> don't go too Thanks. high. <laughs> Thanks. I'll aim, I'll aim for an eight. No, you just yeah, go. We, no. we, wish you, we wish you moderate success. <laughs> and... <laughs>